Radio EMS Money Makers, welcome back. Today is our um, second video. It is the part of practical application on the price theory. So if you haven't watched the theoretical explanation, make sure you watch the video. Hit like, subscribe, share it and make sure you follow because right now I'm going to explain the price theory on how it works. You would have seen in the previous video some exercises that you could practice but now I'm going to physically demonstrate how you do it. This is of crucial importance. So I have drawn up my table, my demand and supply table. Correct? You can see the price per unit. This is my quantity demand unit and my quantity supplied unit. Now just again to say what's the law of demand? There's an inverse relationship so that says if price increases my supply or my demand will decrease. You can see the uh, units decrease if the, when the price increases. But with the law of supply it's quite the opposite. It's a, a direct relationship. If the price increases my quantity supply will also increase. Now we're gonna draw it. I'm gonna use red for quantity demand. Now this is quite simple. You first have to draw your axis. Your um, y axis uh, it's your vertical one, it's always price. So I've started at the bottom, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Also on your horizontal axis, that's your x-axis. Mr. Oerstuizen, I think this is yours again. It is a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 units. This is your quantity. Your, you'll always have a base of um, this as a starter for your graph. All right. Now we just have to connect the dots. This is grade one work. So let's start with quantity demand. At 5 rand, they want to buy 30 units. So at 5 rand, they want to buy 30. So I'm going to draw a dot. At 10 rand, they want to buy 25. Okay. At 15 rand, they'll buy 20. At 20 rand, they'll want to buy 15. And so it continues. And now what happens is we just connect the dots. Important that you have to remember is you need to name it. Demand. Alright. And I'm going to say D1, D1. Because this gets interesting in our next videos. Now quantity supply is quite, is the opposite one. So at 5 rand we want to supply 5. At 10 we want to supply 10, at 15 we want to supply 15, so you can draw that. And you must remember to draw your supply, supply and number it, number 1. So this is a demand and supply graph. That is, um, on the same graph you can do it individually, but normally they will ask you how to draw it on one graph. Now, this is the fun part. If they ask you what is market equilibrium, this is your first place. This is where they intersect, is what we call market equilibrium. Alright, this is where supply and demand meets and this is what we call market price. So currently this will be 17 rand 50 for 17 and a half units. So 50 is my price and my quantity is then 17 and a half or you can say 18. And this is how easy it is. If you remember you just have to read, apply it, Remember what your access and then Bob's your uncle or in this case, I'm the EMS guy. Thank you for watching. See you next time.